Welcome to the 11th video in this series on using Substance 3D Modeler. This will be centered on exporting out of Modeler and generally what to expect. Once you have a finished sculpt, you'll likely want to texture, render, or do something else with it in another app. To do this, we'll need to convert the voxels in Modeler to a mesh so that a program like Painter can use it. Let's use this sculpt file here as an example for all of this. Currently, exporting needs to be done via the export menu found in the file dropdown on the desktop. You can also hit Control shift e Modeler supports exporting out as an OBJ, FBX, USD, and GLTF. You can change the units used and the up axis preferred. There's also an option to export only what's selected if you don't want to export the entire scene. Raw triangles will give you the densest possible triangle mesh, while triangles and quads will give you an attempted poly count on a slider. This last option will give you a remeshed output with auto UVs. You can also set a desired poly count and choose between optimizing for hard surface, which is better for flatter surfaces and sharper edges, or organic for less rigid shapes. The hard surface option tends to give better topology results than just using the triangles option as an output. There's a few extra options here at the bottom. Some are self-explanatory and others are a bit technical, but as a brief overview, Modeler will try to keep its instances when exporting, but this is disabled when exporting with UVs. If you want more technical details on some of these, please see the links down in the video description. For now, let's set the poly count to roughly here and leave the rest as is. Your exported files will default save to your exports folder of your Modeler directory. From there, you can bring them into any 3D software that supports these file formats. As an example, from the auto UV export, I can open up the file directly into Painter. And this concludes part 11 and the last part in this series on how to use Modeler. In the video description are links to further documentation if you want to read up on more technical details and community pages as well. We're excited to see what you make.